Welcome back to another game at all.com. Let's play. I'm Luke Scrim. And I'm Pentavis. We're back with some Super Mario Brothers 3. And uh oh shit, I remember this foot level now. The little donuts. Uh, Come shit, on, you're shit, usually shit. good at castles. You're usually good at castles. That's when I think you have to do a bouncy jump on him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes much more sense. I'm usually good at castles. Alright, let's see if I got this. Yeah. Actually... I wonder... Uh, if you had a P-Wing... But I think P-Wing would actually probably kill your... P-Wing would actually kill my Tanuki because it's just a regular raccoon leaf. I can do this. Alright. I remember hating these platform, and I know that World 7 has a metric fuck ton of them. I am not looking forward to World 7, is what I'm saying. I fucked myself. Oh, the Tanuki! Well... <sighs> Fire Flower is normally advantages in castles and stuff like that. Because it lets you easily kill enemies from range. I, I guess. I am kind of glad that you're doing this level. Are you? I fucking hate those things. I don't think you actually have to do that area. It's just a bonus area that, uh... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's a good thing that you got it. I mean... Just... One-ups are always nice. Yeah. And do-do-do-do! There we go. That would be a bitch move. What? If you did like the three jumps and you started blinking like that, but then you went into like a second phase. Oh, <laughs> that would be evil. That would be evil. Now you have to fight the airship. You might want to use a... Fire Flower might be the best. Because... Look at the good little Kojira! Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please. Find the magic wand so we can change him back. Well, you do know that Toad is more like. Rah! Yeah, but I don't know. I can't do that voice. I just wanted to make him annoying, though. Still. You know who makes it surprisingly well? Aaron from the Game Grumps. I can imagine that. Yeah, that sounds right. He's just got the right annoyance in the voice. I mean, he uses it in one of the Star Bomb songs, if I remember right. So, he's definitely practicing it. Oh, yeah. I feel like I should have gone up there that way, but... I also feel like I probably would have died easily. I don't like those crews. No. I can never do them properly. But... It's all screwy. Ugh. <laughs> I actually hope you die. <laughs> you must die. Why did you stop under the fire? I, because I thought I could duck, okay? It turns out I can't. You could, you just didn't. And the fire hasn't... That fire hasn't gone on for a long time. Because there's no fire at that bottom one. Yeah, there was. I saw it. I never uh, saw it. Yike! Oh. You're lighting up a cigarette there, bud. Ah. Left-handed one. Well, 
you die, at least I kind of know the level layout now. <laughs> You're almost there. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, stay down, stay down. Alright, you can do it. Yes, I got this guy. It's, uh... Ludwig? Lemmy? Oh, buddy. He's like, oh, Why did, you... no! Why did I jump? Why did I do that? Ah! You jumped in the shell. I was trying to wear my enemy's carcass as a hat. Yeah, that's only in Mario Maker. <laughs> Every time I see Mario Maker, I want to pick it up. But then I remember that I don't actually enjoy fan-made content. In those kind of games. And I'm like... Because, eh. I mean, in concept, Mario Maker is great. Yes. And watching people play Mario Maker, I'm fine with it. Yeah, because sometimes you get to see some crazy shit, because... Yeah. Like, I know I'm not that great at Mario. I am not... You would never see me doing half that shit. Like, that impossible level, I'd be like, yeah, I'm just running through it and die. Yep. And, honestly, I'm... the only reason we're doing this right now is because Evil Within was so mind-numbing that we're just like, no, what? We're gonna play something silly, stupid, easy. Yeah, exactly. And we decided on Mario Bros. 3. So, if levels are too hard, it just takes the fun away, in my opinion. And that's what a lot of those Mario Maker levels seem to be. There's just, people trying to do the hardest that they can. Isn't, like, Kaizo levels that they're called or something like that? Because of the original maker of those kind of levels? Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, those are retarded Liard. And I mean, that's that's cool and all, and there's that special feeling you get when you actually beat them. I love watching them. Yeah, definitely. But they're not for us. I will right? never be able to beat one. And like that was the thing. Like I wanted to get Mario Maker for River, and yep. uh, we decided not to just because we saw those levels. We were like, she will not be able to play that. Like, Mario Maker 2 does have a hundred pre-made levels. Yeah, they do have like that. But they're like, tutorial on how to build levels. Exactly. Also, I'm 4 like, for 4. Like, this is where I, I kind of like, I'm interested in getting Dreams when that came out. When it comes out. Cause, but that game is nothing but user-created stuff. But the thing is, there's also so many different stuff that you're going to be able to do with that game that I'm very... I want to see how this is going to play out. Media Molecule. They know what they're what the fuck they're doing. On that subject, did you get uh, Dragon Quest Builders? Did not get Dragon Quest Builders yet. Okay, because I feel like that's a game that lets you create user-generated content well, and has its own fair share of pre-generated content as well. Yeah. Like, it's just the right happy medium, in my opinion. I... I generally think that game, like, Dragon Quest Builders is just great in general. It's like, honestly it, one of the games I played the most on my Switch. It is, like, is, here's the thing, like, River plays a lot of Minecraft. That's, if she plays... Holy yeah! shit, you did it! If she plays Minecraft, she might actually like Dragon Quest Builder, because it's Minecraft with a story... But Dragon Quest aesthetic. Yeah, and she loves the Dragon Quest aesthetic because I played Eleven in front of her. And she was loving the character design, like the I slimes mean, and all that. Too, yeah. Akira Toriyama. Yeah, exactly. You you can't go wrong. Like, it, I've almost gotten her to play it at this point. It's, she's in a, uh, a very weird place with games right at the moment. Where she likes the game she's playing, but she doesn't want to really expand too much. Fuck yeah. But that's, like... Is there anything down there? Uh, yeah, it's the hard way. Oh, fuck. If you can go up, it's the easy way. And if you go down... I think you can go down get down Mushroom Despawn. Never mind. 
Because, like, this brings you in a cave while the other one brings you up somewhere. I didn't... Was not expecting that guy. I completely forgot about World 5. Like, what I need to do here. And this is Cloud World. Oh, yes, okay. I'm getting memories and flashbacks and horrible feelings. Shit, I pulled a squeak. <laughs> At least you got a free life out of it. Admittedly, I thought that was going to go another way. He was going to kill me? Yeah. No, I know it was right out of range. Oop. Yeah, like as I was saying, like she's in that uh, little bit of a stage where I like the games I'm playing. I'm gonna want, I'm gonna keep playing these ones, but trying to get her to explore a little bit more and like play some other stuff is just a little bit that it's too hard for her five-year-old brain. Like, we're doing some classic stuff, and it helps, and, like Kirby and stuff like that. Fuck yeah. But, like, my dumbass was like, oh man, Horizon Zero Dawn is a good game. She could probably play that. No! No, she cannot play Horizon, because she has to fucking learn how to aim first. Ah! <sighs> yeah, that was my dumbass doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel the best range right now would be, like, Atari all the way to 64 PS1. Yeah. For motor skill and, like, just yeah, general yeah. gameplay. Yeah, two, two. Maybe you should. <laughs> I look like an idiot. On the, uh, like, the menu screen. Like, like there? Yeah. Because you have your choice. Castle or fighting a little douchey. <sighs> Fighting little douches? Fighting little douches at 11. Fucker! <laughs> oh, I just made this so much harder for myself, didn't I? Yes, you certainly did. Okay. Well, you lost to Nuki, but at least you beat them. <laughs> to get a star! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> That means that whenever I clear either the castle or three, you should just star it up and go kill the other one. Yes, I agree. <laughs> just, just get rid of him. Three or castle? Three or castle? Three. We'll see. Uh, even is three, odd is castle. Does so that still count? An odd. Odd was castle. Really, it should have been odd. It should have been three because three is odd. I see what you did there. I'm not that bright. Nah. I don't think you're gonna. Now. What is going on in this castle? I don't remember this one. <laughs> oh. No. Stay there. Bad boo. Bad boo. <laughs> I would have oh. failed magnificently if I did this. Well, here's my uh, issue. I'm bad at boom boom fights, normally. I guess I did okay on this one. Yeah, I mean, he kind of whipped out. I mean, that's... Alright. Alright. So, so just start it up and go kill the bitch. Yep. First... Spin that wheel! <sighs> and that was like... The three. There we go. Well, that what was, was a weird that? pickup. See, you at least got a P out of it. Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah, I don't... I'll, get, I'll, I'll take a P. <laughs> <laughs> I have three P's. 
two music box. <laughs> but only leaf and fucking... Alright, let's do this. I already regret taking Raccoon Suit. I probably should've went Fire Flower. <gasps> I get the boot! No. <laughs> <laughs> Apple bottom jeans, jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur! The old club was looking at her. Yeah. Boop. 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 I got the motherfucking boot. The oh. motherfucking boot. <laughs> Have you ever, I don't think I've ever seen the boot outside of uh, Mario 3. I believe Mario 3D World as boots. Uh, Mario 3D World did do a lot of throwbacks, so yeah, okay, possibly. But I will be honest with you, when I played that, it was drunk with Randy and Dale. Oh yeah, yeah, and then he had, yeah. yeah. And uh, my memories of that game are not as clear as they should be. I really should borrow that game again, maybe. I should have gotten out of the boot to try to get a star. Ow. But alright, now you have to clear the ascension to the sky world. Oh dear. Another dungeon. Oh no, no, it gets much, much worse. Yes. Yeah, like I said, everything after 4, I forget. It's been so long since I've been through this. Not gonna lie, I did replay it recently. Fuck. And did do 100% clear on it. So... You, you have a, a small memory of what happened. This is where I'm saying it gets much, much worse. What the fucking hell is this shit? It is the top of a wall that you're climbing. I forget you're climbing into Sky World, right? Right, right, right. And I believe I will also have to do that same climb. Oh, that's that's cheap. Yeah. I thought that was going to go another way. You lucked out on that, sir. And see, you made it into Sky World. And now you have to beat four. But that'll be on the next episode. What? Yup, it's literally just a tunnel world. That is... Oh, honky? I agree. <sighs> be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification button, know when we publish next, and for GameItAll.com, I'm Lucas Grimm. And I'm Pentavis. See you guys next time.